Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from Ecat Tech. I'm sure you've noticed, but I'm starting off the video in a different format because I'm going to be doing a different kind of review today. And that is because I'm going to be reviewing a special software that you can use to mirror your iOS or your iPhones or your Android devices. And that application is called iMyPhone Mirror 2. So pretty excited about this one, guys. So let's go ahead and start the test. So I put up the product page on the video description and when you click on it, you're going to be taken to this page where you can actually download this software for free. But of course, the free version would have limited features. If you're interested in all the features that the software has to offer, then you have to click on the buy now button. So these are the prices for the subscription. For a one-year plan, the best value for money is the one-year plan where you just have to pay $39.95 and you get to use the software for a whole year. That actually gives you a 66% discount over just getting the monthly plan. If you get the quarterly plan, it's $24.95 per quarter. And if you get the monthly plan, if you just want to test it out for a couple of months, it's actually $9.95. And if you use my special promo code, you get an additional 10% discount when you decide to upgrade to the full version of the iMyPhone Mirror 2 software. But how does it work? So I've already downloaded and installed the software and here it is. So let me zoom in on it. So when you open up the software, you're greeted with this splash screen where you can actually choose an iOS device or an Android. Now, if you choose iOS, this actually lets you connect your phone and your computer if you're on the same Wi-Fi. So let me click on it and it actually takes you to a handy guide that shows you what you need to do in order to get connected. So I've got my iPhone right here. So your screen mirror is this little icon right there. So I've got a couple of smart TVs around the house. Of course, I'm not going to be connecting to that one. And it will pop up there the mirror too. And that is the name of my laptop. And let's wait for it to connect. Okay, and it does tell you that in order to connect or control your iOS device, you have to turn on your Bluetooth and connect it to your laptop. So I've got the Bluetooth settings up and let me connect to my laptop. Pairing request, of course, let's go ahead and pair it there. And go into here. I click yes and connection succeeded and as you can see here guys there is a screen mirror already in place so I can actually put this down and let's try to control my phone you can take a picture of the screen you can also take a video if you want to so for example if you're playing games on your mobile phone you can actually mirror it and record your gameplay on your computer directly so let's stop that this is where we actually try to play a game. So let's try to run Genshin Impact. Okay, done. Let's see what we can do inside the game. I think for the iOS or the iPhone version, you can't map your keyboard. So I'll see if there's an option to control the game using your computer. Okay, no keyboard support. Uh, let's see if I can change some settings. Controls. Just touchscreen. Okay. So over Wi-Fi, the experience isn't perfect, guys. There's a bit of a lag in terms of the response time. Let's exit out of that. So I'm going to go ahead and test this on an Android phone next. And, and the only difference between using the software to mirror your iOS device over an Android is you actually need to, to connect it via cable. So that is one of the drawbacks of using an Android phone. But since it's connected via a cable, then you're sure that the latency will be very low. And with an Android phone, you can actually map keyboard controls and put it on top of your favorite game so you can use your keyboard and mouse in order to play those games. So to go to it, you just have to click on back and you can go to these two screens and choose the Android next. Connect the device to a PC. You have to make sure that your USB debugging is enabled on the developer options. There you go. It's being identified as the Legion Phone Dual 2. So let me click OK. So you have to allow the display over other apps so you can actually control it. So put audio, allow. 
So let me zoom in a bit so you can have a better look at the options. So compared to the iOS or your iPhone when it's connected, you have additional options appearing when an Android is connected. So you've got keyboard mapping and you can still take screenshots of the phone. You can turn off the screen. You can record your screen. You can actually start streaming from your computer. And of course, there's a full screen mode which we can enable right there. Now, how does the keyboard mapping work? So you can actually put this on the screen. So if you're playing one of those games, let me scroll out a bit. So if you're playing PUBG or any of those first person shooters, you can actually put this or configure it. It's basically like the special controls you've got on these gaming phones that I've got. So you overlay the controls on top of whatever controls that the game is using and you can use the WASD key. So this is actually going to be keyboard. I think Call of Duty is the best game to try and play with this. Okay, let's see if we can actually test the controls. I'll put this over there. Perfect. There's a shoot button. Now what's this do? There's a special key. So let's see. I want this to be the reload key. I'll use R for that. You can actually specify as many keyboard shortcuts as you want. So if I want this for a crouch, I can use Q. And for this, uh, let's use an E. Okay. Fire button is the left click. Okay. And let's save it. It is pretty enjoyable guys and it does give you an edge in these kind of first person shooters because, because it's basically playing with a keyboard and mouse combo which is one of the best combination when playing these kind of games. I don't think first person shooters are the only game that will benefit from this since the keyboard mapping option is so versatile you can actually use the whole keyboard and set keyboard shortcuts on all the buttons that you've got on screen. So in terms of gaming guys this will definitely give you an edge. All right, Genshin Impact running. Let's let me zoom in so you can see. I'm going to try to configure the controls. So the keyboard will go right up there. Special keys here, so you can actually set it like. On the PC. So you press the number buttons in order to change the characters. And this should be the E and your dash. And let's go ahead and save. Change. Change. And change. Yeah. So guess what guys? I've managed to set up my Lenovo Legion 2 and I'm playing it with a keyboard and mouse. So it's definitely exactly like playing the PC version. Now why would I want to do that? So here's the thing guys. Why would you want to play your mobile phone and cast it or mirror it to your computer? Well for one thing, my daughter is actually using one of my older desktops so it's, it does struggle a lot in running Genshin Impact. But I do have a lot of gaming phones lying around so this is actually going to be a perfect solution for her because not many people can actually afford to get a gaming laptop as well as a gaming phone. Either they have a gaming laptop and a regular phone or they have a gaming phone and a regular laptop which might not be powerful enough to run Genshin Impact and you can actually enjoy Genshin Impact and play it like you're playing the PC version. So at first glance you might think I'm playing the PC version but it's actually the mobile version. I'm just casting it or mirroring it on my laptop. So let me try to find my Netflix over here. Okay and let's see. Whoa there you go guys. A bit of Cobra Kai for you and the screencast or the screen mirror works perfectly on the software. 
Resolution is pretty good. There's really nothing to complain about. So is this software actually worth the money if you want to play games using your desktop? In my opinion, if you're going to go for the annual plan, which is around $39.95, and if you apply my special promo code to get an additional 10% discount, then this is excellent value for money. And it's not just for games. There are a lot of students out there that rely on just a mobile phone in order to do their homeschool. So now you have a chance to use one of your older machines that can't really do anything anymore, but you can install the software and you can give it new life. So I guess I'll end my review on this iMyPhone Mirror 2 software for now. I'm going to be playing around with it a bit more and I'll let you know if I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to let you know how I feel about the software long term. But for now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the comment section down below if this is a piece of software or tech that you want to get. And if you're interested in getting the software, then please go ahead and click on the link and make sure that you use the promo code. But until then, a sub would be massively appreciated. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all on my next one.